Hi, I'm Matt Hoffman. And I'm Jenna Payasco, and this is MD Magazine News Network. It's clinical news for connected physicians. As if pregnancy wasn't difficult enough, new study results have shown that prolonged use of the common over-the-counter medicine acetaminophen has been linked to a 30% increase in the relative risk of ADHD and a 20% increase in the relative risk of autism spectrum disorder, compared to those that were not exposed to the drug during pregnancy. While the results are troubling, author Ilan Maddock, PhD, said that the team believes their findings should not alter current practice and women should not avoid the use of short-term acetaminophen when clinically required. At the American Academy of Neurology, 70th annual meeting, the organization issued 30 new recommendations for disease-modifying therapy for multiple sclerosis, recommending the start of DMTs early on before the disease has progressed. The update to the 2002 guidelines included input from patients with MS. Lead author Alexander Ray Grant told MD Magazine that all through this process, they were kind of important in what we did and what we delivered. I certainly want to emphasize that was very important and a new thing which resulted in limited instances of non-consensus recommendations and a reformed perspective on managing DMT care. The American Academy of Family Physicians announced a new well-being planner for members of the organization to help manage stressors and help address burnout in primary care. The AAFP also shared more than 100 resources which, with the National Academy of Medicine's Clinician Wellbeing Knowledge Hub. Cliff Knight, MD, the AAFP's Senior Vice President for Education, said the planner is designed to make individual tactics more efficient to commit to, follow up, and track. That's great news for the fight against physician burnout. And now, for a weekly segment, FDA Roundup, let's go over to my alter ego, Gina Payesco, across the room. Thanks, Jenna. The FDA had a busy week. Among a bevy of approvals, the agency greenlit both Medtronic's Impact Admiral Drug Coated Balloon and Sermondic's Low Profile PTA Balloon Dilation Catheter. It also approved the first generic version of McLustat for mild to moderate type 1 gaucher disease, Tovoptin, the first treatment to slow kidney function decline in patients with ADPKD, okayed a new indication for trilogy alepta to include airflow obstruction and COPD and granted pre-market approval to the thin prep integrated imager for pap testing. The FDA also accepted a BLA for the half milliliter dose of the influenza vaccine to include children ages 6 to 35 months, designated Pfizer's meningococcal group B vaccine as a breakthrough therapy, and issued a warning related to lamotrigrine's risk of causing HLH, a rare immune system reaction. Back to you guys. For these stories and more, visit us at mdmag.com. I'm Matt Hoffman. And I'm Jenna Payesco. Thanks for watching.